Let's return to thinking about planning routes. We'll start by recalling what we saw last time. Here's our map of the United States, and here's our roads going through it. Here's our USA highway map as a data structure. We've added one more link so that you can go directly from Bloomington to St. Louis. Here's our data definition for highways, maps, and places. And here's the neighbors function that you wrote last time. You can see that I wrote this function using map and filter. We simply collect all the highways where the start is equal to the place we're starting from, and then we simply take the end of each of those highways using map. By using map and filter here, we can write this function a lot more easily than if we had to write it with a more complex recursive function following the template for maps and highways. We want to write the has root function, and the has root should work for both going from Bloomington directly to Indianapolis and traversing across the country from Bloomington to Los Angeles. We decided to write has root using a way tree. We were going to construct a way tree that looks like this. It's either we're done and we've gotten to where we're going, or as far as we can go, or we're going to have an intermediate stop where we're at a particular place and we have a collection of subsequent way trees that we can follow. We also looked at writing the way has root function, which determines if you can get to a particular place in a way tree. We simply go through all of the elements of the way tree. If we're at a done, we can only get to the place we're going if that done is at the correct place. Otherwise, we use or map to look over all of the elements of the children and use way has root for each of them. This use of or map parallels the use of mutual recursion in the data definition for way tree. Last time, we also wrote the generate way tree function. This simply checks if we've already finished, in which case we construct a make done. Otherwise, we construct a new stop and we generate new way trees for each of the neighbors of the place that we're at. Unfortunately, this version of generate way tree ran forever when we tried to create a way tree going from Bloomington to Los Angeles. So that didn't work. Let's think about why that is. Looking at the map, we saw there were two neighbors directly from Bloomington, Indianapolis and St. Louis. When we go to St. Louis, unfortunately, Bloomington is now a direct neighbor of St. Louis. So we can just go back and then we have our same two neighbors, Indianapolis and St. Louis, so we can go back to St. Louis again, and then back to Bloomington again. We've gotten ourselves into an infinite loop that we can just keep going around and around and building up a bigger and bigger way tree. This process won't ever finish because we haven't said that we need to stop somewhere if we're going around in a loop. You can see that there's multiple loops here in this road network, so we're definitely going to have to fix this problem.